but yeah. So today I'm going to talk about slash sort of use a theremin. Now theremin is a kind of electronic musical instrument. I've got some information about it because even I wasn't really sure how how one worked. Like I'd kind of seen them being used before. They kind of look like this. So you can see it's like a flat panel and then a long metal rod and you kind of like wave your hand around there in front of the rod or both your hands and you can kind of manipulate this electronic synthy kind of sound um, so it's controlled without physical contact by a thereminist it's a very nice word thereminist um, do -do -do -do. It usually consists of two metal antennas that sense the relative position of the thereminist's hands and control oscillators for frequency with one hand and amplitude with the other. The electric signals from the theremin are amplified and then sent to a loud speaker. I mean, the most recent example um, I can think of where there was a theremin was uh, the film Frank, the Domino Gleason and Michael Fassbender one that came out was it last year now? Yeah, about a year ago. Um, Maggie Gyllenhaal's character was the thereminist of the band. But anyway, I really want one, but I don't have one. But I found this amazing kind of theremin simulator application called Nebulous if you want to get it. I'm not sure if it's on Android. I have an iPhone uh, but it's called Nebulous. So when you open it up it kind of looks like this which is um, sort of like a galaxy solar system um, graphics. There's a lot of depth in there. I know you probably can't see it that well but there's a lot of different stuff going on in there. I'm going to turn it this way, actually. And it gives you some settings that you can use to change, change things, change the echo, the kind of shape of the sound, and you can filter it so it's like dark and dull or really bright and light. Um, but I kind of have it on the settings that it came with because I felt that was what sounded the most relaxing. Anyway, so this kind of light bluish area are the high tones. Which are really quite high and can be quite screechy, which is great because sometimes that is what you're going for. And the dark, dark lower tones are on this side, on the dark side of the screen. Personally, for this purpose of relaxation, chilling, slash sleep, um, I tend to go for the darker, just because I feel they're more, I don't know, sleep and relaxation enhancing, whereas I think the higher tones are a bit um, more energetic. But you can, I can kind of mix them in and keep them sounding relaxing as well if you place it right, if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm just going to kind of create something for you with this. like sci-fi this probably sounds great
So you can see it's really good at responding to the hand movements. So if you're quite, if you add a lot of pressure, the sound sounds harder. Whereas if you're really light, the sound is very light. I'll give you an example. This is light. enjoyed that as much as I did. Sleep well. <laughs>